253 kilometers stretched out in front of the riders in the 116th edition of Il Lombardia. 175 riders in total representing 25 teams, including four riders retiring, two of whom were the preeminent riders of their generation, Alejandro Valverde and uh, Vincenzo Nibali heading into retirement at the conclusion of the race of the falling leaves to conclude uh, the racing season the final monument of the year and naturally enough there was much representation from the host nation in the early break of the day three riders became nine and then ultimately ten riders out front in the early move as aurelian Paris pontre was the final rider to the party to make it ten up front with eight tough climbs along the way and more than 4,800 metres of elevation. The control from behind, and the Movistar squad in the company of Jumbo Visma and the UAE Team Emirates squad controlling the pace and ensuring that the breakaway group never had more than five minutes and 20 seconds. And they were already called to account inside the final 60 kilometres of the day as they raced down towards Coma and the conclusion of the Lombardia for 2022. Jonas Vingago staying in contention and staying close to the head of affairs, but when they came to the penultimate climb of the day, the Chivillo was Tade Pogacar, Henrik Maas and Mikel Landa on the attack. Vingago found wanting. Henrik Maas on the attack to try and detach himself from Tade Pogacar and their efforts, making it difficult for Mikel Landa to stay in contention. Behind, Rodriguez and Higita gave vain chase. It was up front. And the attacks kept coming, and Jonas Vingago finding himself in a day without. Henrik Maas trying repeatedly to push Tane Pogacar behind, mindful of the sprint ability of the UAE team Emirates, reigning champion of Il Lombardia. It was Pogacar himself that threw in a salvo across the final climb of the day, and when they came to the final 200 metres, Henrik Maas began his sprint first, but ultimately, it was Pogacar that had enough in hand at the end of 253 kilometers to take a second consecutive victory in the final monument of the season. The 24-year-old getting another great success. It's really amazing uh, to come back and to repeat the victory in uh, yeah, uh, the teamwork today. I cannot uh, say how grateful for I am for the team they did so, such an amazing job and to pull it off yeah uh, for the last race of the season for uh, Lombardy is uh, is uh, amazing Tadevacaccio becomes the first rider in history to win his first two editions of Il Lombardia Pogaccio gets the victory and is joined on the podium by Enric Mas and Mikel Landa